Welcome back to Art Studio. Today, let's play with circles. So what I'd like you to do is grab some paper, back up a piece of cardboard, all is good, and go ahead and draw some circles. We're gonna get the hand and eye warmed up together. So maybe you're gonna be a little fast in the beginning, maybe just a little bit messy. I'm tending to draw my circles going towards my left to the right. So it's a good idea to go the other way as well, right to left. And I'm overlapping right over the top. Looks like a lot of bubbles. It's kind of fun. This way I don't get too caught up into trying to be perfect. I'm just getting that hand moving. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down. And we'll go ahead and draw a circle. So even now I want to kind of work on that for a while, but that's good enough. We're going to turn this circle into something. I'd like to use this coffee cup here to look at uh, the, the top portion here. That is a circle. But as I, as I turn the cup, the circle starts to make an ellipse here. It's getting squashed. It's looking more like a, like a pancake, right? And we can keep going and keep going keep going. I have that pencil going around so you can see how the ellipse is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually you're not going to see any of that dark spot there. It's just going to be a straight line. We can open that back up. So what I'd like you to do now is go ahead and draw the inside of a, a cup or something that's round and you can just put it in one of your hands and and turn it and see if you can match the shape of that circle as it squashes down. Into your ellipse. All right, we're going to pause right there and put the coffee cup away. All right, so we practice drawing circles and then ellipse. Now let's go ahead and draw a cake. Maybe it's a maybe it's a birthday cake or maybe it's just a cake for today. So go ahead and draw an ellipse. And then on the left side drop a line down, on the right side drop a line down. And then to make the the bottom part of this cake Remember that it's not not a straight line, that just, just like when we have this, this edge is curved, this edge is curved. So you have two curved edges. So whatever shape this is, this one has to match. It's probably just like a cake I make. It doesn't come out too perfectly. So that's good. Now go ahead and take um, the rest of today to draw a couple more cakes and maybe add some frosting and some candles or strawberries, whatever you like on top of your cake. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow.